Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, today we are gonna make some more modules. Um, I originally, originally planned something else, but I don't got that much time. So this is also gonna be a rather short video. But anyways, um, yeah, we are gonna create our first um, module that is gonna be important for our... Um, yeah, M1 script in the future, hopefully in the next um, episode or the next two episodes. But yeah, um, let's open cell storage and create a new folder that's called um, modules, just like our modules folder in replicated storage. But we want this folder only to be accessible from the server. So that's why we're putting it in server storage. Then um, let's make a new folder and uh, let's uh, create a module script in here. And that is gonna be our um, combat module. Okay. Then um, let's just begin by setting up um, some services or just one service. That is gonna be our replicate storage again. Um, then let's also um, get some folders like our animations folder. That is replicate storage animations. Then also let's get our weapon um, weapons animation folder. Yeah, that's gonna be animations folder dot weapons. Um, then let's have some. Let's call it um, stuff um, here. And here we want to have our last swing. That's gonna be a table. We're gonna use that um, in a bit. And we want to have our max combo. And I want to have a max combo of four. You can also customize this to like five or more or less. Um, just make sure um, you have those swings in your animations um, folder like I told you to do last time. Okay. Uh, then I want to put this again here. And then let's create our first function and that function is going to be useful for stopping um, animations which we need like as I said in the next episodes um, yeah, and this is what we are already go uh, just gonna do um, in this episode preparing stuff for future episodes so um, function module dot stop animations or anims and that is um, gonna we're gonna need our humanoid here. Then we're gonna do for oh okay. We can just um do the stuff that the AI um already suggest um to us. But we can switch out um humanoid with humanoid dot animator because we are playing our animations on an animator, not a humanoid. Um and we also need to add um, something because we don't want to stop all animations. We don't want to stop our edit animations. So let's do if v.name um, does not equal to idle and v.name also does not equal to um, animation. Then we only want to stop it. If you're wondering um, what just animation is, that's usually the walk animation. And well, we also don't want to stop that. Yeah. Um, that's it for this function. Then let's create a new function. And um, this is gonna be the function for changing combos. Uh, 
So let's call this function just change combo. Then we want to um, get an attribute that we actually haven't created yet. But like, we can actually just create this real quick. So um, go into weapon server script. Go to here and just um, type character set attribute combo to one. Okay, then we're gonna um, get our current combo here just by doing character get attributes um, combo. Then we're gonna um, check if the last swing for our um, character is well, false um, or is true. Then we're going to get uh, our pass time with using tick and dividing that by um, the last swing. Um, then if the pass time is uh, smaller or equals to two, then we um, are gonna set uh, and the combo is also not um, uh, uh, is <coughs> okay. Uh, so um, if the pass time um, is less or equal to two. And uh, the combo is ta uh, more or equals to the max combo. We are gonna reset our combo to um, yeah zero. So um, character set attribute combo to or not to zero to one. But yeah. Then if it's not um, bigger than um, the max combo, we are gonna do um, combo plus one, so we are gonna add uh, one um, value to the combo. So if our combo is currently one, it's gonna be two after this. Uh, but if the pass time is um, bigger than two, we also want to reset the combo. So after two, sec two seconds, um, yeah, we also want to reset our combo. And then down here, um, we want to set our last swing to a tick. Uh, yeah, if you don't know what tick is, that's basically it. Retains the amount of time in seconds since the Unix approach occurred according to device time. So just pretty much the time that has passed. Um, yeah. Then let's create one more function, and that function um, is gonna be used for um, getting our swing animation. So we're gonna do a module um, dots get swing anim anims, and for that we're gonna need our character and our weapon name, and let's also again get our and combo and just gonna have a um, variable here the current animation we're gonna use this in a second so if our combo um, equals to the max combo the wait no 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 um <laughs> um we're just gonna uh, set the current combo to um yeah to this okay and <laughs> um, the auto pre complete pretty much nearly completed this um the current animation is gonna be dead but we still need to commit here so what this does is we'll go into our weapons folder then search for our weapon name which should be a rapier or sword then go into the combat and then search in the combat folder for uh, some string 
uh, with swing in front of it with all of those have which all of those have and then we are gonna put our current combo behind it and our combo is well one two three or four and then we are gonna return the current animation you can actually just do this um yeah okay this was already everything with the part um as i said we're not gonna uh, we are gonna use this module in the future episodes but well not already here but yeah thanks a lot for watching uh, hopefully i can get a new episode already out tomorrow so if i can have um one for today and the other one for tomorrow but i will see anyways have a great day and see ya